Some of the biggest names in 80s music have been in Porth Call for the funeral of the Visage lead singer Steve Strange. The former new romantic and fashion icon died last month of a heart attack. He was just 55. Nick Pallett reports. <laughs> Hundreds lined the street outside Porthcawl's All Saints Church as a jazz band played when the saints go marching in. As expected, music was to be a prominent part of this funeral for 80s pop star Steve Strange. Steve's family said they wanted this funeral to be a celebration of who he was and what he'd done. And today, former pop stars of the 80s came to help with that celebration. Among the pallbearers, Martin and Gary Kemp have spanned our ballet fame alongside 80s pop icon Boy George. The coffin was decorated in the name of Steve Strange's band Visage, his painted face emblazoned on its sides. As they carried the coffin into the church, the strains of his most famous song rang out, Fade to Grey. It was in 1981 that Fade to Grey was a hit across Europe and that success catapulted the boy from the Gwent Valleys to stardom. Steve Strange was a pioneer of the new romantic revolution. He became a millionaire pop star and fashion guru. Today, family friend Tina Jones was watching the funeral from her balcony opposite the church. He would have been overwhelmed, his arms would have been out and he would have been looking and saying, I wish I was here to see it all. Yeah, he's a lovely guy. At a wake after the service, friends paid their respects to a fashion and music pioneer. Helped to change the shape of a lot of things, especially in the 80s and with bands like Azel Spandau and Duran and stuff. But he was, uh, he's a larger, he was a larger than life character and just a lovely, lovely man. He was the most outgoing, fun-loving guy with a massive heart. I've got to say, you know, Steve had an incredible sense of humour and just to come up here and, um, you know, pay my respects to his family, uh, I miss him, I miss him already. He'd suffered a fatal heart attack last month while in Egypt. He was just 55 when he died, but his musical legacy lives on.